let's get started. my channel my name is Nicole and today I'm very excited because if you can see behind me my fridge is so disorganized it's messy it's it's embarrassing I know you guys saw my what's in my fridge like a few months ago it looked all clean and pretty reality it's not always like that and after the holidays and recipe testing like we had a huge recipe testing day yesterday the fridge is a mess it is not health nut worthy and I am wanting to organize it because if you saw in my 2020 goals video I talked about that one of my goals this year is to be more organized in my life and in my business and one of the things on my list as I've been organizing the whole house has been my fridge is beeping uh, if you guys are excited for a cleaning video get ready because I'm so excited because at the end of this video I'm gonna have a clean organized fridge I'm not gonna lie I wanted to pre-clean it before we started filming and Chloe said no you got to leave it as is because this is the real life. So it's like when you clean before the cleaning lady comes. I don't have a clean lady, but like you're just embarrassed of what the actual mess looks like. That's what's happening. So um, let's get started. Disgusting. I don't know what's happening with this fridge, but like it keeps collecting moisture. So I put paper towel, but like, anyways, this is disgusting. I'm gonna do that out. Alright, time to tackle the door. I don't even know what's up here. jar of Nando sauce. This is why he can't be trusted at Costco. This reason exactly. <laughs> some soapy water and we're gonna wipe all of the shelves down so it's squeaky clean for all of our organization shelves and fresh food. Roll up the sleeves. Oh, I can switch sides. <laughs> wow. Do I want the side? No, I'll probably keep it on that side. That's cool. Oh, it's disgusting up here. Oh my God. My butt look baggy in this. So I'm kind of freaking out right now. There's some yellow stains that are in the back of the fridge that have been there since we moved in and I just can't seem to get them out. And I just used lemon essential oil with a cloth and they're coming out. I'm freaking out because 
I'm not using any bleach or anything or any harsh chemicals, just lemon essential oil and I'll, I'll get a close-up shot. This is coming out like magic, it's crazy. So this is the drawer that's also really stained. I'm gonna to see if this works on here too. Shut the hell up. Keep scrubbing. Are you kidding me? I'm getting that? Like, oh. yeah. it's like an eraser. So now that the fridge is clean and fresh and smells lemony, it actually smells really good in here. I'm gonna figure out, I bought, bought a bunch of these like organization containers and I, before I actually unwrap them because you can't return them if you take the packaging off, I'm gonna see which ones fit because I kind of just guessed when I was at the store. I didn't measure or anything. So I just grabbed a bunch. I'm gonna kind of fit them around like a you know jigsaw puzzle and see what actually is gonna work in the fridge, what I'm keeping, and then I'll take the labels off, clean them out, and then start putting in all the groceries. That's like the worst part. <laughs> the fun part is like just de destroying it and now I gotta actually do some work. Oh, is it oh no, that's not right. Okay, that was too long. Oh no, it's too long. Yeah. It's just like that. But then like, here, you're not gonna... Oh, unless I move this over here. I could, this would be really good for like my kale and celery and stuff. Okay, this, I want to put nut butters on. So it's like, you know, you can easily move it around. This is for berries and my ginger. I feel like that's good in that corner. Or actually, I could even put it here, because it's shorter. some liners for the bottom bins here because I don't know why but my fridge collects a lot of water in those one of them stopped doing it so I don't know what happened but I got these little oop, absorbent pads that you put in your fridge I think they're reusable too which is nice so I'm just gonna plop two of them in each one to absorb because lately I've just been using paper towel and I think this is gonna actually do a better job So the goal is to put all my veggies in one bin and then all my fruit in the other. I don't technically have a lot of fruit to put in here, but I have a lot of citrus and things like avocados that are still fruit. I'm gonna throw in there and see how that works because otherwise it gets all mixed up and then I don't know what is in what. And yeah, that's just the system I'm gonna try and see how that works.
So the fridge is done, it's tidy. This is probably the best my fridge has ever looked in my life, even better than my what's in my fridge video. So clearly I didn't put everything back in the fridge. We have some things I have to go through still. Uh, some things are expired or just um, had gone bad and some things I'm gonna move to the downstairs fridge because the nice thing about this new place that we live in, we actually have two fridges. So things that I just don't use, like condiments that I really only use once a month, I'm gonna put downstairs, hopefully I don't forget about them. But I really only want things that I'm using on a weekly basis in this fridge so I can actually see what I have and it just looks tidier and I can just figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner a little bit easier. Anyways, I want to just kind of go through it, a little rundown of why, like how I organized everything and what is happening. So in this top shelf, I, I've had these little pop-up OXO containers for a bit. We actually sell these on the shop. These are great, I love them, especially for smoothies, oatmeal, They're, it's easy to grab my nuts and seeds that I wanna keep in the fridge. It just keeps them staying fresh a little longer. I also have these wide mouth uh, mason jars. I really like these and I get these little plastic reusable lids because I can't stand those, the like the double layer metal ones. So I've been using these for a long time. You just throw them in the dishwasher. So this is great uh, just to have in the back there. I really like these containers for the berries and the ginger because my ginger is always just kind of like, I don't know, hanging around, getting soggy, but now it's gonna stay fresh up top. I have my egg container. I've had this for a long time. I really like it. So that's what's happening there. On this next shelf, this is what I'm very excited about. I swear on a daily basis, either Matt or I are asking, you want a bubbly from downstairs? <laughs> Not sponsored by bubbly, but we love them. We just get them from Costco. We also have some Zevia in the back and it's always downstairs and we drink them every day. So this is nice just to have our own little dispenser of bubbly and Zevia. And then I just have some grapes here. I think it's nice to have some washed fruit kind of very visible in the fridge so you can, you're more likely just to like grab it and eat it. And then <laughs> I knew Chloe would be like, don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're like, oh. Okay. Then over here, I just have some tiramisu that I recipe tested yesterday. I also, in the back here, have these. I haven't been using them for a bit, but they're like these, like, savers. They just make your veggies and fruit last longer. So I have some um, baby carrots in here. Then over here, these are awesome. They're stackable silicone Ziploc containers and you can put leftovers in them. You can also use these in your pantry. So I just have some pasta sauce that I made the other day. Over here, I just did a drawer of kind of my jars and stuff that are open that I'm using. I got olives there. And then I have the larger Costco size of olives downstairs. So it doesn't take up too much room in my, uh, in my fridge, but I have them on hand because I'm Portuguese and I eat olives every day. So in this little container, I just keep like my tofu. I got my cheeses, I got my hummus, I got my bacon, that kind of stuff stays there. And then I'm really excited about this Lazy Susan. I saw this somewhere. I was watching too many fridge organization videos on YouTube. I saw a few people on YouTube do this in their fridge organization videos and I thought it was so clever because you could easily just spin it around and see all of the things that you have without having to take everything out. So I got all my nut butters, cashew butter, peanut butter, tahini. Um, I usually like to have one of each because I use them all and I love them. And then over here, actually here I just have some of my large jars, I have artichokes, uh, marinara sauce. This I'm really excited about. It's a little full right now, but I, oh, tempeh. <laughs> Let's put that there. This is like a longer container that I thought was really good for my greens and veggies that are just really long and they're awkward and they don't really fit in the drawers. So I got my kale, my romaine, I got celery here, I got green onion, and I just kind of have that stored under here. I left them out of the packaging just so you can, so it looks pretty, but usually with your leafy greens, you wanna make sure that they're in a produce bag so they stay nice and fresh. And then down in the tubs here, I kept it to fruits on one side. And this is the one that always gets like wet on the bottom. I think it's something to do with the moisture in the fridge. So to solve that, I just put them in a bowl, uh, just a clear bowl so I can easily see what's in them. I also have my cucumber, which I use every day for smoothies. By the way, I have a video on the 10 foods I buy every single week. You guys can check that out down below. I also have my little avocado hugger for any cut avocados. This works, guys. It's, it keeps them fresh for at least three days. It's amazing. So things like apples, I usually, I, I don't like eating cold fruit, but I like to, they last longer in the fridge. So I keep them in there and then I transfer a couple to my fruit bowl to ripen and so that they're not cold when I bite into them. 
And then over here I have all my veggies. So I got mushrooms. I have, anytime I have leftover chopped veggies, I always just store them in these silicone bags, especially onion because onion stinks up your fridge and you actually don't want cut onion just hanging around because it like absorbs everything. So these keep it fresh and there's no onion smell, which I love. So I got all my veggies, I got asparagus, broccoli, zucchini, radish, all the goods. So on the door here, I really had to clean out a lot of my condiments. Some of them were expired, some of them I just moved downstairs. But I got my butter at the top. I have capers, my ghee, some pesto up here. Here I just have my mayonnaise. I always keep a couple of coconut milk cans in the fridge if I ever need like them to like for coconut whip or anything. Sometimes you need it for a recipe where the coconut cream is hard and chilled. I have some silk almond creamer. I also have my favorite mustard ever. This is the Coslix one. It's the um, Dijon by Anton is a really good one and also there's like a crunchy one I really like. Here I have a ton of hot sauces which if you like spice you know that sometimes you just need different hot sauces for different meals so we got variety and over here I got some dressing, I have this barbecue sauce that's sweetened with dates, it's really nice. Organic ketchup, I like ketchup still as a 31 year old, I was gonna say 30 year old but no, 31 now. I really like ketchup still, I just don't get the one with like high fructose corn syrup and weird ingredients. So the organic one is just like a little bit, a little bit healthier. Here I have some maple syrup, I have some salad dressing that I made. I also have apple cider vinegar, some greens powder, our holy grail kimchi, this is the best stuff. Um, this is a really good just to put as a side to your dinner. It's filled with probiotics, which is good because everyone I know is sick right now. On the bottom here, I have, I usually keep like all my milks and stuff. Cashew has her goat milk. She needs some probiotics too. I also just have some other things that didn't fit up here. Uh, apple cider vinegar. Did I call this apple cider vinegar? This is sesame oil. Apple cider vinegar. I got like my tamari, teriyaki, Worcestershire. <laughs> I shared this in one of my old hacks video, but this is one of the best ways to keep your herbs from staying fresh. So I just have them in a uh, glass mason jar. I fill it up with some water, kind of like a flower. I put it in and then I just cover it. You can use a extra, like a leftover produce bag from the grocery store. I'm just using one of these silicone ones because I have them on hand, but it will stay fresh for a couple weeks. It's a great little hack. And then here, I mean, I'm basically just a water drinker, water, tea bubbly and I just sometimes like to have infused water so I actually just bought this and I'm very excited because uh, instead of just like making it on the spot I can just make a batch for the week and it's actually gonna taste better because it's just like marinating in there normally I would do lemon cucumber and it just makes your water a little bit more exciting and that is it for my fridge organization slash apparently what's in my fridge video I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspired you to clean out your own fridge because that's what happened to me I was watching them on YouTube here I am filming my own so I hope you guys enjoyed it leave me a comment down below letting me know like what the state of your fridge is in right now because I showed you guys how bad it was before, but I promise you can make it nice and clean and fresh looking and actually more usable. Like I think I'm actually gonna be able to see what I have a lot more than how it was before. Also, if you guys are not signed up to the VIP HealthNet newsletter, you guys can do so down below, I'll have the link. We like to send out updates, bonus content, a recap in case you missed a recipe. It's completely free, I get asked a lot. It's free to sign up on Insta or on uh, YouTube and the email and it's just like a nice little touch base with you guys every single week and you guys can check it out down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next one.